So we called SUSY supersymmetry. It was proposed uh, as a solution of many problems in physics and energy physics. A lot of us are looking for SUSY because it's a nice theory and we think it should be there and we have to find it. We're not finding it. How long have people been looking for these things? 30 years, but up until now, nothing. We have to accept as scientists, it's possible that there's the Higgs boson and nothing else. If that's true, then there are two numbers in nature that don't have to be related to one another that cancel to 16 decimal places. So this is like asking two guys to come up with two 17 digit numbers and the first 16 numbers that they come up with are identical and then the last one's different. That'd be pretty weird. But you would say this, this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But it's possible. So this means that someone went there and, and it's, you know, start to tune this thing here and tune that, that there so that they cancel exactly. This is what we call fine tuning. Typically tuning is telling you that you are not understanding the full picture. We hate that as scientists, that, that idea that it would, there would just be this fantastic coincidence. And that's why we're here. So we think that fine tuning is a bad thing. But is it a bad thing with nature or is it a bad thing with our theory? We want there to be something else, some beyond the standard model thing going on that explains some of those cancellations, some of those numbers. I hope there is. I really hope there is. With Susie, there are all these different permutations, so you have to break it up and say, okay, now I'm going to look for this. And the nightmare, of course, is that the other thing you didn't look at is the right one. Whenever you see a, a little deviation, because we're in so much flux, there's some hope that that will turn into a big thing. Is this maybe supersymmetry in a way that we didn't expect it to come through? Is this just another deviation? No matter what people tell you, physicists do have some biases, right? We do get excited about things. We do want things to be there sometimes. There are people that hate the idea of spending their time, like two or three years of their life, looking for something that might not exist and try to be more concrete. I prefer to look for more crazy things, and I know that most probably I'm wasting my life on this. Unfortunately, the, the place that the Higgs landed, the place where the Higgs appears to be, is right at the cusp of where Susie really would be killed by this and where Susie would be favored. It's right between. The jury will be out until we come back in 2014, 2015 with higher energy. The LHC is a 14 TV collider. So before getting pessimistic and say, okay, I'm going to work in banks, Let's see a 14 TV collision, how it looks like, is there anything interesting there? We have more or less solid arguments by which we think that there should be something else there. The point is that now, as we are now, we have no idea what it is.